black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like Dr. King, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge and fire at reality simple. Reality simple. My black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like Dr. King, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge and fire at reality simple. They weren't in there fighting, and I'm the best strategy man in boxing. And uh, when I'm fighting, I do a lot of things that people don't understand. And that's why I'm here today. That's why I'm champ. That's why I don't see no scratches on my face. This is why I'm where I'm at, is because I plan the strategy. I realize how much they love me, Herbert Muhammad, and all the people who love me and want me to win, don't like to see me on the ropes, and it looks rougher to them than it is. But I knew what I was doing, and I proved to do the right thing. And I appreciate them worrying, but I'm sorry I can't fight the way people out on the outside want me to fight. I have to fight the way I feel it, because I'm the best in boxing, and I know how to plan my fights. I did something crooked, uh, so I knew it'd be some excuse. When I win, it's always an excuse, especially a big upset like that. I upset so many people who said I didn't have a chance, so many experts, so many critics. If I got caught in the corner, I just defied the world. So I expect this, but tell them all, look at the fight films, hurry up and show these films to the public, and let them see that not only did I knock this man out, but I'll class him, I'll punch him, I hit him at will, and the man took a terrible scientific beating before I knocked him out. No tricks, no short counts, no loose okay. ropes, and the man just took a supremely superior whooping, and he will never whoop me. No man alive will whoop me as long as I'm in shape. All right, you may... You made it work. You backed it up. I want to thank you very much for spending this time with us. There was a... <clears throat> well, not there was, but we know him as Muhammad Ali. His slave name was Cassius Clay. I am going to refer to him as Muhammad Ali because if you respect someone and they tell you what they would like to be called regardless if it is legal or illegal however you want to see it if that person wants to be called whatever then you call them whatever they wish to be called. Otherwise, they may ignore you. They may feel hatred toward you for not respecting their wishes. And interacting with them in the manner that they have expressed to you how they wish to be addressed. That is not the topic of this video. The topic of this video is the behavior of Muhammad Ali and comparing that behavior to Angel Snup Nup 7. When Muhammad Ali, who was Cassius Clay at the time, was boxing Sonny Liston, he had, even in his early days, a big mouth. Muhammad Ali was known as a bragger. But, even to the point or to the time that he finally got a shot at the World Championship, not only did Muhammad Ali brag, not only did Muhammad Ali boast, but Muhammad Ali backed up what he was talking about with his fists. And every opponent was knocked out. He beat man after 
after man. So not only did Muhammad Ali, did he boast and he brag, which was a way that a method he used, not because he was a bragger, but because that type of behavior made people want to see him get beat. Thus, thus bringing an audience where you can make your living as a boxer because you can't make your living as a boxer if nobody comes out to see you. So they want to see Muhammad Ali get beat, but he could also back what he was talking up, talking about with his fist. And those who were with Sonny Liston understood that Muhammad Ali was much more than just a bragger. So, as the story goes, it was said that the trainer of Sonny Liston put some type of ointment on Sonny Liston's gloves. And during the boxing match, some of this ointment splattered in Muhammad Ali's eyes, blinding him. But he kept fighting through the blindness. Now, why did Sonny Liston's people, if this is true, why did they do this to Muhammad Ali? They did this to Muhammad Ali because he was much more than a bragger. He was much more than a boaster. He could back up what he said. He was good at boxing. And they knew that Sonny Liston might have problems with Muhammad Ali. So they wanted to do something to give Sonny Liston an edge. But Muhammad Ali was able to fight through the dirt that was uh, placed upon him and become the champion of the world. So here I am on YouTube. I am the mighty, mighty, mighty uh, Angel Step Number Seven. And I will brag and I will boast. There is no wisdom, there is no opinion that is greater and mightier than the angel something up seven. All persons that would dare challenge me, regardless if it is the written word or they dare try to face me in person, they have all failed. So, your best bet is to put some ointment on your gloves and splatter some type of poison in my eye. That is the only way that you can do anything with me. I am the mighty, mighty Angel something up seven. Do you think that it's just a coincidence that there is a flagging campaign against my voice? It is because they know there is no other wisdom, there is no other opinion, there is nothing stronger than the reality's temple on earth ministry. So we must do what we can to censor that word. And why do you want to censor Angel Snuff Nuff Seven? They want to censor Angel Snuff Nuff Seven because what I call real truth is embraced by all races of people. What I call real truth is embraced by people all over the world. And if this strong truth is embraced by all the races, those who benefit from race, those who benefit from gender division, those who benefit from classism, and all the things that have destroyed the human dynamic, that have caused the human being to go backwards in evolution.
evolution to thinking like animals, in fact, worse than beasts of the field. They who benefit from savagery, this word that comes from my mouth brings us civilization. The honorable Elijah Muhammad, my spiritual teacher, said the duty of the civilized man is to bring civilization to the savage. And when you come among savages, when you come around wild animals, there's a good chance you will be attacked. So it is not no shock that this gang of white supremacists, it is not no shock that they want to censor the voice of Angel Snow No. 7. It is not no shock that even some of these so-called black people, dark Europeans, Uncle Tom, black revolutionary wannabes, these woman beaters, it's not no shock that all these forces come against Angel Snow No. 7. But they have to put some kind of poison on their glove because you can't mess with me in person. I challenge any of them, any of you on Skype or on Skype, show your face. I will debate you and you will lose or you will be my friend, one or the other. It is better that we be friends. And it is better for you to embrace real truth when it is presented to you. Rather than be humiliated and embarrassed. So those who steady want to hold on to lies. Those who steady who want to deceive. Those who continue to rape. Those who parasite out others then you will be exposed and you will be shown the man in the mirror. And that is why people dislike and hate Angel Snuff Nuff 7 because I am the man in the mirror and there's nothing that you can do that can break it. So you have to sit back and look at yourself. Look at yourself how vile you are. Look at yourself how profane you are. Look at yourself that you are a liar and a murderer. You are a cheat and a deceiver. You are a damn slave. You are a damn slave master. You are a damn parasite. And I tell you in your face exactly who and what you are. Excuse makers for evil. Excuse makers for the wicked. You said that you won't change, but you really don't. You just want to be comfortable in your evil. You want to be comfortable in your lies. You want to be comfortable in your deception. In your fantasy world. God bless America. God loves everybody. The meat shall inherit the earth. Continue to tell these lies and continue to teach our children these babies, these fantasy stories about God and these fantasy stories about the United States of America. When you... Like that the king, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge and fire at reality simple.